and today it is well first of all it's pretty early in the morning um, and it's pretty chilly as we near the end of October with the day before lockdown and we've managed to squeeze in our first 20 hour service um, with um, West Wales Marine who are Yamaha specialists and so we're uh, about to uh, about to untie and head off round to East Lanyon Boatyard where we're going to have um, the service carried out shouldn't be too long an hour or two at the most um, first service being obviously an oil change so uh, we'll get untied and we'll head off round to uh, East Lanyon which is only a very short distance away so yes a very very chilly morning albeit no frost yet but uh, very lucky to get a window as well especially the day before lockdown or the second lockdown I should say a window of very pleasant 24 hours of weather rain each side of us but uh, but a nice day today a perfect one to squeeze in a 20 hour service Our lifeboat's still here as well. And with any luck, a bit of sun over there. And of course the consolation of coming out early is that a beautiful sunrise on the Clevay Estuary. And then just a bit further up there where um, the estuary just to the right that's where uh, that's, so, where, uh, that's where we're heading that's where we're heading which is um, which is where East Landing Boatyard is and where we've got the hoist uh, to lift us and hold us while we uh, have the orchard absolute mill pond this morning And as we uh, do a right, channel markers there taking us down to the uh, boatyard itself. Only accessible at uh, sort of a couple of hours before high tide and a couple of hours after. So uh, just going to follow the channel markers in as uh, water is still pretty shallow in places. And wow, here we are, just got round to the boatyard and uh, just dropped onto the pontoon that's normally on the mud of course at low tide just waiting for uh, Vance to come on down with the hoist up there uh, ready to uh, ready to lift us so this one as we we're saying earlier this one is a lift and hold so we're beheld in the hoist uh, as it's a relatively speedier service uh, between an hour and two hours if there's just one person on it um, so that allows us to be held in the hoist um, thanks to Vance accommodating us uh, for that process. And in comes the, uh, in comes the hoist. Seven tons, perhaps a tiny bit more, depending on obviously what fluids are in the tanks, fuel, water, black water, but somewhere around about four and a half, four point seven at the moment, I should think, as we're about 50% fuel, a little bit more, about 60, 65% fuel. Wow, that sun is unbelievable this morning. 
stunning morning. And here, uh, West Wales Marine, local Yamaha dealer based uh, just up the hill in Nayland, who are going to be looking after resin for us. Well, there we go. That's the first stage done. So we're up in the yard and just uh, lowered it slightly. It does look very weird out on land. Gives us a chance to have a look at those zip wakes. There's the zip wakes under here. They're the um, zip wakes. Yeah, so it's totally out of it this year. Zip wake 450s on the back here. So just one, uh, one this side and one obviously over this side and the tabs themselves obviously uh, come out slide out from under here automatically oh yeah the drain plug down the bottom there yeah drain those two out first and then, because uh, that gets replaced as well on the 20 hour. So the oil extractor is in through the, uh, through the dipstick point there, and then siphons out the oil, gradually filling up there, catching the oil, the gearbox oil, just about finished draining out now by the looks of it on both engines. Uh, greasing some of the springs and all the moving parts, or as many moving parts as we can get to on this service. Still siphoning out each of these, um, each of the ridges going down there, each of the ridges represents a litre. So we're just coming up to three litres so far siphoned out of, um, of the starboard engine. That on. So, <coughs> gearbox just getting re-oiled here. Um, pushing the oil in there and as it starts to come out the top plug, that gives an indication of when you got to the fill point. The indicator, the indicator is when it just starts to bleed out of the top valve there. Which lets us know it's full. The uh, oil here up to about four and a half litres. It does, each engine is uh, four and a half litres. If you change the oil filter, then it's, um, um, it's a four and a half litre fill. Obviously the oil filter will get changed as well. Um, just hiding in there. As part of this 20 hour service. And then obviously new rubber seals on all the um, all the bolts that have been loosened and or taken out to carry out the drain process they get new rubber gaskets there you go there. so onto the uh onto the port side engine cowling's off just the three clips two at the back here that you can see sticking out now and then there's a third clip just around there at the front okay so the old, uh, the old oil filter coming out on the starboard side. There's the two drain plugs for the gearbox. Just uh, had their new gaskets put on, ready for refitting once the uh, once the uh, gearbox oil is. Um, then refilled. And a second port engine gearbox just refilled there with oil. You see the excess coming down the gear leg and then the uh, vent plug at the top there just been refitted and the drain plug now there just towards the uh, front of the engine just been refitted with this new gasket. So new uh, new engine oil ready to go in. It's filled up the top there. You can just see the uh, 
yellow filler cap where the refill's done. And the last bit is just to fire up the engine with the uh, flush muffs on, get some water through it, get the oil to circulate. And after that quick, uh, quick run, a top up just to get all the level smack on. So a quick uh, final spray over, water repellent over all the engine. Even with the cowling off it's still um, fairly quiet running. So that's been, um, start to finish been uh, about an hour and a half. So relatively uh, painful, painless I should say. <laughs> Not painful, a relatively painless process. Final grease up of the rams and the steering. And then back on the hoist back into the water. For those of you who might need it, there's uh, Andy's details if you need uh, to give him a ring. So just uh, reversing out of the reversing out of the berth as the next one is ready to be lifted out. So that's the uh, 20 hour done. Um, next time will be either a year, um, so next September or uh, 100 hours for these uh, Yamaha 200s, whichever comes first. And uh, well, hopefully the 100 hours will, and we'll get some uh, some use out of her uh, into early next year, rather than the lockdown that we had this year in 2020 with uh, with our 795. So thanks again, to Andy, both from uh, West Wales Marine up at Nayland uh, for their work, really good job, and um, and of course to Vance as well at uh, East Landing Boatyard for uh, getting the uh, lift sorted out. Um, so that it uh, it could all be done. And of course it would have been very remiss not to pop along the estuary a bit, put the kettle on and we've come along to Long Oar Bay again. You might remember that from an earlier episode. Lovely little spot, the little beach appearing as the tide goes out for a cuppa. always good for a cuppa. So thanks indeed for joining us uh, for this episode. Uh, a quick run or canter through the uh, 20 hour service for you and um, if you've liked the video obviously uh, give us a thumbs up uh, and or subscribe to our channel. Uh, it's been good having you along. Thanks again to those uh, that have already subscribed and liked, uh, liked our first couple of three films and we'll see you again soon.